Alright. Alright, I don't know what happened, but uh, during trying to record this, my mic wouldn't go through for some reason, so here I am again. Talking over myself, talking over the game. Uh, so quickly I'll explain what I'm what deck I'm going to go through and finally clicking on here. Salt Fate's the name, Twisted Fate, and Assault is the game. So a couple messages sigils for creating a load of draw while not running out of cards in my deck either. Pull Shark because Pull Shark. Guiding Touch because Guiding Touch. Herald of Dragons because I have a lot of dragons. I'm going to try to explain this as fast as I can because I don't know how fast I explained it the first time around. Sun Blist uh, Vigor because saving TF. Bastion for the same reason. Leveling up TF is what Dragon's Clutch is all about. Same thing with Pika Card, obviously. Zenith Blade has the same effect while also preemptively saving Twisted Fate. Um, obviously, we got the White Flame Protector as the first dragon because he's probably the best dragon as a three mana cost card if you find that uh, early dragon whatever the hell the thing's called I already forget Blessing of Tarragon a one off which I actually put as a two off in this right at the starting here because it sounds kind of better but I think in the end it didn't work as well it could have it yeah it didn't actually work as well sadness but it's just too expensive it's an expensive ass spell uh, Fuse Firebrand yeah, I put it as a two of. It could probably be a three of still. It's a pretty good card. So, regardless though, and Violus Vox is a two of because it's expensive, so you don't want to pull too many of these. But it's a really good card. Infinity Mind Splitter is a crazy card, but you don't want even more than one of these because yeah, it's a very heavy amount of cost card. Which is funny because I still have three Aurelian Souls in the deck. And he's the highest cost card in the game. Uh, sorry, one of the highest cost cards in the game. Highest champion, but yeah. 10. Round 10 to get him out. And if you have three of them in your hand, that would really suck. But it doesn't really happen often. And if it does, I can always pick a card out of there, too. There's possible ways to get to figure it out. I don't know how to happen anyways yet. Chances could be had though, because I have had three Zenith Blade with the Zenith Blades in hands, which is just horrible because then you can't use its daybreak effect at all. <laughs> but it's still use useful for the preemptive healing or health buff. And overwhelm. Damn, put that on already in soul, GG. I mean normally GG anyways, but you know what I mean. Alright, so I just keep scrolling up and down for no reason for a little bit, for some reason. Hopefully I'll eventually get to it. It is fine, though. I've been seeing people to use too many plunder effects while playing as uh, Twisted Fate, so I really needed this to be... Excuse me. I really needed this to be a video I made, so people would maybe... Stop using so much freaking plunder with this. Like, play, if you're playing Targon, you should really use Targon. Use TF as little as, use TF as normal, set up as little as possible, figure out a new cool one. We're not here to play the same old style of deck with, with like, a couple shitty, even good mixture. Like, might as well just stay with the old cards if we're gonna do that. So here I don't know what I'm doing other than Dragon's Clutch. I this is and uh, Vigor. I'd get rid of both those. Just uh, Sigil and Vigor, or Dragon's Clutch and Vigor. Sorry. Yeah, I'm all gonna weigh everything, don't I? All right. Well, regardless, I get pretty much everything back except for Bastion's new.
The idea is obvious as normal to get the TF as soon as possible on the board with the ability to save him, so really I shouldn't have mulliganed away the bigger. But there it is again anyways, so I could drop down the Herald, but I think he passes it to me here and I just take it and instantly switch to my side. He's taking, oh yeah, I remember, I was like, is he AFK or something here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> right, no, it's this guy. Yeah, that was painful. This was a pretty good example of that, this deck that I'm going against popping off. So yeah, I decided to put the Herald down in hopes that I get the uh, four cost mana dragon, which I know, and I deal with it with. I don't know what I do. Drop down the second Herald, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a hard one. I possibly, I plausibly should have just actually used my dragon's uh, clutch right now, actually, but it wouldn't have mattered too much. But I would have used it right now. I could have had some dragons for next turn. But I get this one anyways. So that's pretty damn good. Goes down a lot here, yeah. Ugh, that ephemeral is pretty intense. They lose so many cards, but yet they just keep on... Somehow they... I don't know how they works. They're able to keep up still. He did a great job. You just wanted to end it like that? Oof. I should have attacked there. Why didn't I attack before putting that... Full shark down. Check out these moves. I guess because I'm trying to raise him anyways. Yeah, and all I did was that, so. Yeah, it sucks. This is a hard one though, for sure, yeah. Not finding TF here made it very difficult. Everything's better with company. Says you. Even to the young bloods, we are nothing. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Let's move. Finally getting TF on round seven. But Against this kind of deck, it's just too late. You need—I needed it earlier, yeah. Never lost a fair game. I played one. Eyes open. Pretty sure he still stops this somehow.
No, he doesn't even, yeah. Hmm. Need to be a three, so. Well. I think I could, I think I fucked this one up. I think I could have still won. If I just used my overwhelm. something off of that draw. Oh, it wouldn't matter, I guess. If he had held that. Well, that's just how that first one went, but uh, we will definitely be able to see a better outcome of the next... I don't remember this next one, actually. I'm not sure if I can remember, but I know the last two were through... If there was even four. Uh... Were pretty good games, generally speaking. The outcome, who knows? But they were still pretty good uh, games, generally. I say a pretty good start. I just get rid of this unplayed now. I mean, you do actually want TF where you use the messenger, I suppose. That's probably why I'm getting rid of the messenger there. See, now I don't have the messenger though, so. Just because I don't want to use it right away doesn't mean I shouldn't want to have it in my hand. Alright, it's a good time to Herald actually, not pull shark, and I pull shark here. A game. Go on then. Yeah, that was my undoing. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. So this guy's deck is pretty silly, but I knew that I couldn't put uh, Twisted Fate down because of Ezreal. Because he was going to have all the pings to kill him, so I had to first worry about putting down cards that would... Gems are superb, bad for the teeth, though. The guy card's not... That card's whatever, I don't know, this card's uh, situational that he has there on his side. Gem creator. Can't say it's doing too much. Even to their young bloods, we are nothing. No. So it sucks that I can see like my pool shark lost me a freaking dragon. Like that's why you don't pull shark yet if you don't uh, if you're not trying to fiend for twisted because you're against an aggro deck or something. No reason. It's fine, I would say. I still get a dragon that's not dead here. So he actually made a mistake shooting the wrong one. But he didn't want one to survive either. I get it, but. And that's fine. Bye bye, dragon. Just depressing. Yeah, look at that. He came back. The age of dragons is begun. Rouse your kind, dragon. Damage, my guy. 
I don't care about the draw, because like Twisted's not even getting on the field over this game. This guy still doesn't even have any actual units on the field. So it was either he did a really bad draw or he has a really silly deck, because I don't even know what this deck is doing. Dragon, I never use very often to give myself that dragon. See, like at this point, like Twisted Fate isn't even the one I'm trying to worry about. He has nothing. The TF doesn't really work in a matchup against this real, anyways, unless you have the protection. That's all, all I was looking for, too. That big, that big green, I couldn't find it at all. Creating a dragon there. Where do you stand on cold shot? So if I what if I draw a Aurelian soul here though? He's doing that. I get it. This is actually, spoiler alert, the turn that I win. No, not on my own turn. This turn, right here. Weirdest hush I've ever seen, along with that. So I use this preemptively, not preemptively, but counter to that instead of getting TF's level up it started at all. Then I place down TF. Alright, I'm gonna about to do that. I win the game. Like I don't understand why he even surrendered, but apparently he didn't think it was gonna win. So that was impressive. That was that wasn't a good one, I'll tell you that much. The next one though. The next one's pretty good. You'll see what I mean. Oh yeah, this is against the Trendle deck too. So a ramp deck. Featuring not Everly and Soul, but instead Trendabe or Trundle. Pretty as uh, essential, like a. Not essential. Yeah, I guess it's an essential start too, but pretty ideal start. Get a bigger, I got the dragon. Down my dragon right away. You can do this three lit. This three little damage! Ugh. Now I got my white flame already going right here, right away. And this is exactly what you're looking for when you want to play this deck, to be honest. Great start. 
No worries, got TF drawn right after that, so that's why I was probably just smiling and smirking both there. Going for a juicy, juicy attack, because all I can do is one damage, which actually is reduced to zero with this effect called Fiori that dragons have. Which is super pretty, pretty good of effect, honestly. It's simple and it's yet powerful. Judgment deck. Dragon Fury Judgment deck. That sounds fun. I should try that. It's actually probably the next thing I'm gonna do now that I'm thinking about it. Effort away. Not worried about any damage because I have the uh, Tarragon protection, whatever the hell thing's called. And bigger too, so some decent protection here, no worries. Trundle drops down, and that's when I pick a card. Let's go. That is an instant. I'm at two, so I'm at five. I'm gonna be at. I'm drawing freaking four cards, so six instantly. Which means all I need is that card I have in hand right there. But I'm about to freak out because I thought I it was at one, I guess. With the guiding touch, I'm like, alright, perfect, level up. century. Anyways, I don't actually know exactly how to go about this, so I think I toss away Aurelian first. And I got get some bad luck, but life goes on. Gonna have this Deck happen in once in a while with you. Aurelian is a dragon, after all. So this is bound to happen. That is the same early instincts. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. So I lost that one, but what can you do? Big hit here, but it was necessary. Bye bye, really. And so it was nice seeing you. Lots of healing there too. Bunch of messenger sigils, which is pretty decent to be honest. Shouldn't have used it really like that. I just, just I jumped the gun. 
but uh I, yep that's just kind of how it goes sometimes That's where he denies my blue card. Like, I don't even get it. He does actually mess up exactly. I was just thinking about still using a sigil. That dragon there. Alright, get the red card going. For not really much reason. Who says I don't share? One, one damage for all, yeah. That's sharing right there. Messenger going for the extra cards in deck, and then drop potential on top of that. It's just such a good card with you. Nobody does anything. Can't really do much. This is the turn that the mind splitter proves itself worthy. Or no? No, it's not. Huh. The power is unimaginable, even now. Blue as the serpentine. I thought it would be on this turn. It makes sense, wouldn't it? That really confused me. I'm still confused seeing that now. You're supposed to attack with Trundle. For sure. Alert the villains. And sure, I would have stopped him, but that's not the point. Stuck with. The angel dragon sees me gone. Rouse your kind, dragon. Beautiful. <laughs> These old eyes don't see far and clear. Bring me the call of an eye shrouded world. Reveals all to me. I kind of wish uh, in these games I would have went against a more pronounced deck, like uh, get someone net deck on. Like any net deck would have been kind of good, but every deck I went against seemed pretty much normal. Just normal. Somebody trying out a regular, their own thing, kind of. Because this one's very random. Soak it in. I don't even know what she's doing in this deck. Freezing people for what purpose?
I should have attacked there. Hmm. Yeah, I messed up there, didn't I? That was weird. Huh. I think I should have gotten a gold card going and then it's just done. turn he should still be pulling in my dragon to do some damage to it too. Yeah, this one wasn't that great. I kind of forgot about this one. <laughs> to be honest with you. Like, out of all of them. This one I forgot so much about that I forgot that I forgot about it. The last one's good though. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the last one. The constellations bow to me. You'll double level up. At this point you should know it's Ten cards in hand though, so I lose whatever. I don't even know what card I lose here. Just a random dragon. I don't even need dragons at this point anymore. I'm pretty sure it takes me a long time to still do it. I didn't do it here though, because I got a full hand. <laughs> I think I just placed that dragon down though. No. The cosmos will oh yeah, right. That's what I did. Go on then, watch the ball, folks. Blue as the serpentine. Possibly could use my Targon right now. Time for Walkies, boy. No, it's just over. John the second, the third I really have sold this game just makes it over. Oh wait, was I doing this game? I'm so lost. Oh, whatever. Having an early and soul on the field and early and soul in hand. When you got either dragons or celestials, it's just stupid. I don't know, I got three other dragons in there, celestial, so. It's just TF clogging up the board right now. It stops me from having that extra reduce all the way down to three. So, whatever he has in hand, he brings his HP back up by five. It just is not enough. Just is not enough. Bye bye. Literally, the game just keeps getting better and better, it feels. <laughs> it's just, I not even feel, it's like, this is exactly what happened. Lost the first one, because of uh, elusive ephemerals. Fair enough. Won the second one, for no reason really, he just kind of like bowed out when I dropped TF down. Late, too. That one, pure win, because going against a slow, kind of very random ramp. So now I'm going against some kind of undying deck. That's all I know. And, uh, yeah. They do a number. They're pretty damaging. I gotta say. This is a pretty hardcore match. Stamos Locos, hello to you too. It's good get good match, man. Good game. Alright. Sorry, I had TF. Prepare off the get go, so I'm able to use my sigil. Ain't no thing. Get my guiding touch for the extra draw right away. Looking good, looking good. He puts down his uh I don't remember this guy's name actually. His keeper. There you go. Remember his name now. Oh, I'm the 
like Wonder Woman I'm just staring at and smiling at him. Back with my friend that just walked in. Okay, so I put down the pool shirt okay. for... Go on, then. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, obviously. I don't want to put the pool shark down there. Oh, he just skipped my turn. Whatever. Mistakes were made. Soon. Get some damage in there, I guess. But yeah, you don't put your pool shark down there. I mean, you already have TF and A. You don't. You don't look for him hard like that. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what I lose due to that. Oh, I don't. Well, I could make it so I don't lose, but I. I don't know what I do here. Like I say, I need TF ASAP, so I do that, right? And I toss the messenger back into my deck. Mm-hmm. And then I get another TF also, which is really awesome. Especially. Oh, oh. Let's take 4 damage. I'm not going to bother blocking with my dragon or TF, obviously, and I don't want him to get that other keeper to have his uh, thing break. But he can do it on his own terms, anyways, due to self sacrificing bullshit. And then he single combats my TF. So that sucks, but shit goes down. It happens. You know, give up after one TF loss. Alright, so I can't I gotta be more cautious with it though. So for here. Let's drop down some damage first, I'd do so. Get my doggy dog, give me the draw. Bastion's pretty nice. I can just end my turn, because I don't need to do anything so sickening, like, because you get that dragon off of that creation right there, that ephemeral remitter. Pretty, pretty powerful move, really, though. So he has me in a bit of bind here, that's for sure. It's looking pretty, pretty tragic. Oh, I didn't even realize he used this card here. Damn, that's a good card. Okay. So, my plan is to make us a dragon can't make any cards for him. No place for the kind Does that shit again, which is so crazy, but you know. Gotta stun that freaking dragon. Has to happen. I'm always up for a round Normally you're looking for blue because you want to get that TF level up ASAP, but the school card sometimes just has to come out. Alright, and then I block with everything that I can because it doesn't even matter anymore. I can't go worry about keeping my shit alive. I just worry about my health. Take out the remitter just so we can't do something like revive it and get it to. I don't really know exactly what it can do, so I wanted to kill that for the crypt for some reason. Or the, uh, whatever it's called. I keep saying crypt keeper. Things watch the ball, folks. So right on the right turn, I get that card. Oh yeah, beautiful. She spake, and the galaxies listened. One life in exchange for another. Bad. He actually does it with another permitter also. That's the kind of shit that I'm talking about. He gets a huge net board here and I have to actually block with my permitter. 
ashes and stardust. TF still alive though, and that's all that matters. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to do a pretty certain block here. Gotta trust your instincts. Where are you going? Looks like I wanted the dragon lady to live as long as she could. So that is my block right there. Power of healing, stopping his grasp, killing my card before I use the preemptive one off, and then he just starts fishing. Alright, looks good too. Is this uh is this also the level up about Rendy? Oh, is it paying attention? I looked away for one second. The chains, they never stop! Oh, this is the level up. <laughs> Beautiful. That's awesome. I guess you can win them all. What a cool deck! I want to use this deck now. You should too. Looks like trouble. Soul level or drop down is tempting, but that's where you get yourself killed. So you gotta think about what you could do instead of just dropping them down and suicide. In that circumstance, I get my smite to face some more HP. That works pretty well, I think. Drops down the Undying, and I can block that no problem. Something in hand. Not gonna matter too much though. I'm gonna go ahead and kill off both of his guards here. I'm gonna put down the pull shark. No problem. No worries. Max hand, max mana. Who cares, right? Just dropping early and sold out right away, I imagine. Great Beyond is the best choice here, I would say. They think themselves cultured. Eyes open. Remitter. It's the third one too in this game. Pretty quick. All or nothing. I can just do a really gross attack with both TF and early and soul due to this. But I should be putting down that uh, strike them down. Hit me. 
Because I could just be like representing me for right now. <laughs> this would be one HP you could have. Whatever. Safe for me. Oh, he does have the heal though too, right? So that makes me not worry about my T my uh, T effort. Alright, it's only more people first. Assault fate, assault on my fate. And that is the old, when I level up, you win. Still possible ways to lose our own soul if you level up, so, obviously, but... What does he want from me? So I have full hand cards, and if I use this, I'll draw too much cards, so... I don't really know what I do here, actually. The cosmos will collapse All right, dragon. There it is. No problem. This is our providence. He just keeps on swinging in, man. Oh, this time he actually pulls in my twisted, which is somewhat close to death for him. That is accepted. Give myself a can't get a dragon, so I have 10 cards in hand still. I'll drop down my free mana cost card. Draw a card off it. Another messenger. Love it. Where I need to kill my twisted. Really easy to stop. Run Bastion in your deck. Just kills off his own unit to heal, which is not a great card unless you're use. You have to have a certain deck to want to run that healing card. I'd say you want to be running a ramp deck, like an Aurelian Soul deck. But if you're running an Aurelian Soul and Thresh, maybe that's the card you want to use. Time for Walkies, boy. I'm Magnum Opus. Yeah, but that obviously ended just a really soul dirtiness, but that was started with Twisted Fate, right? So that's the kind of shit you want to see when you're in that dope deck. A good way to ramp, holding off the game, not even too many heals, but a lot of Twisted Fate. Alright, build that, not ab.